Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokken Battle video. In this video we are going to take a look at my favorite stage for farming blue incredible gems and also for link leveling. So with the advent of the new stages uh, that have come out for 28 or area 28, uh, basically having looked at all the stages and I did a video previously about which is the best stage to farm blue incredible gems uh, we have to take a look at obviously the new stages now for me previously 28.2 was my favorite stage to run auto battle and to run for link leveling due to the fact that I could fight three times and it was pretty quick and pretty easy 28.4, although a little bit RNG dependent, was previously my favorite stage for farming blue incredible gems, but I feel like 28.6 kind of combines a little bit of both into a decent stage. Now, it doesn't have the highest incredible gem potential. I still think with a little bit of luck, 28.4 is the best stage, but that doesn't mean it has to be my favorite. Just because it could potentially be the best stage over a large sample size doesn't mean it has to be your favorite one. Uh, so here, 28.6 I think has a lot of perks. Uh, the first perk being uh, it has multiple fights. So it can have five fights in the stage. That's already two more than 28.2, which immediately is obviously an improvement. Right, let's do this. And not only that, but because it can have more fights, it also has more chance for incredible gems. Main reason being because of the fact that the enemies can drop incredible gems. Now they will drop only between one to three incredible gems, so it's not like they're dropping many, uh, but it does increase the overall average incredible gems of the stage. So farming the stage for incredible gems and for link leveling at the same time is kind of an added bonus. You're getting four to five fights, uh, you are getting incredible gems, during those fights as well and with a bit of luck you could be getting uh, anywhere between you know five to ten gems per run i would say on average probably between six to ten gems obviously that doesn't sound like a lot but you're getting quite a big benefit in the link leveling only problem with the stage realistically speaking is that you can't auto battle it so you have to manually map your way through uh, but manually mapping your way through is relatively easy. Uh, even with the tiles, because of the way the map is formulated with the kind of extended sections between the enemies where you can go around, uh, there's actually a pretty decent chance of you controlling to meet those enemies. The only one that's distinctly difficult is the last one, uh, which you do need to kind of pre-plan for in advance. So obviously there's, you know, I would say quite a big benefit in this stage I think personally it's it's honestly probably my favorite stage uh, for you know link leveling and for farming blue gems. I get to do a bit of both which for me is always the best. Uh, I'm not a fan of you know just farming incredible blue gems. You will get the total you want quicker but you really don't need to uh, and for me I'd rather be able to farm uh, the blue gems and do link leveling at the same time. I also think because of the stamina requirement, this will probably be my go-to link leveling stage without the blue gems anyway in the future. Uh, I think there's so much value to have here. I think there's so much uh, good chance of your link levels kind of increasing that I think overall it is just very, very good. Like I said, the only real downside to this stage at least for me, is the lack of the ability to order battle. Uh, that's one thing I do really like about 28.2. So if you are looking to just order battle some stages for some link leveling and some blue gem grinding, then I think 28.2 is going to be the best. If you're looking to just order battle link levels, then possibly area 710 is still the best, although I really do think the stamina cost of this stage far outweighs the benefits you get from a couple extra fights that you have in the other area. Obviously, you know, it's not an exact science, but I personally think this stage is going to be the best for me. And with five fights that can drop incredible gems, I think there's a pretty nice uh, collection or ability to farm incredible gems during the stage. Only negative, you have to manually control your farming. 
obviously however that is also counteracted by the fact that there's a high stamina cost so unless you are manually refilling with stones and you wish to order battle to link level then that's going to be your go-to thing but for me i think even manually controlled this is the best stage for me at least it's my favorite stage it's what i'm going to be using link leveling going forward and it's going to be you know how i get the vast majority of my blue incredible gems which is obviously fantastic now if you are wondering which is still the best stage i still think the best stage is going to be uh, stage 28.4 uh, the reason why 28.4 is the best stage for blue incredible gem farming is because of the rng so if you luck out then you pick up so many incredible gems that it kind of weighs out the law of averages if that makes sense uh, you know because we get the cloud now we're gonna to get two four six eight ten twelve 14 incredible gems yeah which is pretty good and then you still get some from the end fight so you're already looking at like a pretty you know sizable amount of incredible gems which is crazy and then you still have the last fight divide that by 50 percent which is roughly the amount then you still come out with more but i think for me the rng can be good and bad yeah in stage 28.6 you are guaranteed at minimum if you hit all the fights four gems sorry five gems chances are one of those is going to be a two maybe a second one so all of a sudden you're at seven gems and you manage to get quite significant link leveling done which i think is pretty good overall so i yeah i think for me i would say link leveling here link leveling in this stage is far more valuable uh, not in 28.4, in 28.6 is far more valuable. So, yeah, I'm going to say 28.6 is my favorite stage. And, yeah, that's pretty much going to be uh, where I'm going to stand on it. So, yeah, for me, uh, definitely, definitely, definitely my favorite one. And let me know what your guys' favorite stage is in the comments down below. And let other people know what your favorite stage is. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, stay safe, and bye.